Discovering animals on your property can be an exciting experience. One man had the thrill of finding abandoned kittens on his farm. However, months later, he was in for a shocking surprise when he realized what they actually are. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. Peter was a farmer residing in Russia and owned a magnificent piece of land nestled at the base of majestic mountains. His happy place was the porch where he could bask in the splendor of the snowy mountains while also tending to the demanding tasks that kept his farm thriving. Peter loved every aspect of his life on the farm, including the animals that found refuge in the barn during cold weather. One day, while searching for his equipment inside the barn, he was taken aback by a surprising discovery. His beloved pair of gloves appeared missing. Peter diligently scoured every corner, searching high and low until his gaze fell upon their familiar sight, peeking out from within a stack of hay bales in one secluded corner of his barn. As Peter reached for his gloves, he made an unexpected uncovering. Behind the hay, concealed in the corner, was a group of fluffy gray kittens seeking refuge and nestled beneath the loose hay. These adorable fur balls appeared displeased by Peter's presence, emitting tiny growling sounds. Their fluffy bodies bristled with caution. The sight was charming, but Peter could not approach them closely enough to get them from their hiding spot. Their anger seemed disproportionate, leaving Peter perplexed. The origin of these kittens remained a mystery, as they bore no resemblance to house cats. Despite keeping a close eye on the kittens, their mother never returned, deepening the suspicion that someone had intentionally abandoned them near his farm. Peter speculated that the kittens belonged to a stray cat, and their owners chose not to care for them. As Peter pondered the situation, he realized he faced a significant challenge. His attempts to entice the kittens with small pieces of meat proved futile, as they seemed too young to consume solid food. Furthermore, their playful nature made it difficult to hand-feed them. Recognizing the urgency to find a solution, Peter made a decision. Equipping himself with thick gloves that provided ample forearm protection, he carefully gathered the feisty kittens and placed them inside a spacious basket. Although the kittens expressed dissatisfaction with being relocated, Peter understood that he had no alternative. Their survival depended on coaxing them to eat. Fortunately, he remained unscathed throughout the process. Once the kittens were safely inside the basket, Peter ensured the lid was secured closely as he carefully transported them into the house. He designated a corner in the washroom, arranging boxes to create a sheltered area where the kittens could retreat and hide, as it seemed to be their preferred behavior. Peter left the kittens in the designated corner, allowing them to venture out of the basket at their own pace. Over time, his house cats began displaying curiosity towards the newcomers. Peter felt a tinge of concern for the safety of his existing pets, as the kittens had yet to reveal their softer side. He closely monitored their interactions, being cautious of any potential harm they might cause. To his surprise, the kittens swiftly bonded with his cats, and his female cat even began producing milk to feed them. The presence of the older cats brought a sense of solace and companionship to the young kittens, who seemed to find great comfort in their company. The kittens began devouring the meat Peter provided, gradually allowing him to approach them with greater ease. He felt a surge of happiness witnessing their progress. Encouraged by their development, Peter sought professional assistance and invited the local veterinarian to examine the kittens. Initially, he worried about the kittens' reaction to the vet's presence, fearing they might launch an attack. However, now he felt more at ease, knowing that seeking medical attention was necessary. It had taken over a month to reach this point of limited trust with the kittens, though they still displayed aggression of approach too hastily. As spring arrived, bringing a slight temperature increase, an unexpected cold snap unexpectedly hit the area, blanketing the surroundings with a fresh layer of snow. Due to safety concerns, the veterinarian couldn't make it to the farm, resulting in the cancellation of the appointment. Meanwhile, the firm became busier, requiring Peter's attention. Fortunately, the kittens appeared to be in good health, and Peter didn't mind their presence, even if they didn't become fully domesticated. As life grew hectic, Peter felt comfortable postponing the vet's visit until he had more time to spare. The kittens began exploring the yard, playfully darting around the farm. 
Peter kept the door leading outside from the washroom open, allowing the cats to come and go as they pleased. Peter diligently ensured that the kittens had a steady supply of food and water, yet they predominantly lived like feral cats with the luxury of a comfortable home. Occasionally, they would catch small rodents and opt for those meals over the food Peter provided. Furthermore, there were numerous instances where they slumbered in the barn rather than seek shelter inside the house. He couldn't help but feel that he had a group of pets who didn't particularly adore him. However, being a lover of cats, he understood that some feline companions naturally maintained their independent nature. Despite this, the kittens remained spirited and perpetually adorable. Moreover, the firm offered ample space for the cats to live harmoniously without impeding the daily operations. The kittens' fondness for hiding in various nooks and crannies remained unchanged, serving as their means of avoiding unfamiliar faces that visited the farm. Recognizing this behavior, Peter initiated creating obstacles across the farm. He strategically positioned large rocks that provided hiding spots and hollowed up tree stumps, transforming them into secret hideouts for the animals. This project brought him joy as he enjoyed enriching the firm environment for his feline companions. Several months had passed since he discovered the kittens on his property, and they had grown significantly during that time. However, a new challenge arose when one of his milk goats fell ill, necessitating a visit from the veterinarian. The goat's condition turned out to be a mild infection, easily treatable with antibiotics prescribed by the veterinarian. During their conversation, the vet inquired about the kittens. He suggested looking at them while he was already on the farm. Using the opportunity, Peter anticipated that the kittens would likely be either in the barn or the washroom at that time of day. It seemed like the perfect moment to gather them all together. Accompanying the vet to the barn, he observed the kittens quickly retreating upon spotting a stranger. However, to his surprise, the vet burst into laughter. He then posed a question to him, revealing that these kittens were far from ordinary house cats. To Peter's astonishment, the vet disclosed that the kittens were Manuel, or Palace's cats, a breed of wild felines. These cats, although incredibly adorable, were rare and endangered, and it became clear why they never fully domesticated. Understanding their species' significance, Peter realized that they didn't belong as pets. With the assistance of a local wildlife organization, Peter actively participated in the rehabilitation process to ensure the cats could eventually be reintroduced to their natural habitat. It was a collaborative effort to provide these extraordinary creatures the care they needed before releasing them back into the wild where they truly belonged. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.